everybody, Jerry Bellini here from My Arts and Parts. Hope you're all doing great. Today's video is going to be on this little item right here on my desk, and it is a journal. And I actually made this journal out of the origami pockets that I did a video on. There are there's a front and a back pocket, and there's five pockets for the inside of the journal, and I used wax linen to stitch the spine. I uh, glued a piece of um, jelly paper on top of the front pocket and I also glued this piece of um, little decoration here which is made out of um, a piece of metal and if you're interested in learning how to make this just leave me a, a message in the comments below and I'll do another video on, on, this, uh, on this piece. We used to do this in the bead store and we um, use them as pins, medallions or whatever. Uh, this particular one opens up and you can put a photograph in here if you like or some kind of memorabilia. You can actually glue it down also so that it doesn't open and because it's metal if you just press on it a little bit it will stay in place. So let's not get off on that. Let's get hop into the journal and how to make it. So your supplies, you're going to need some wax linen, you're going to need a needle with a big eye, and you're going to need your pockets. So if you haven't uh, any pockets, go watch the video. And um, my pockets are 5 inches by 5 inches, so you're going to need a much bigger piece of paper if you want to make a bigger pocket. And go check out the video, it, it will explain all that. Alright, we'll be right back and get started. Okay, we're back and we are ready. We have our pockets and we are ready to mark the edges of the pockets. But before we do that, we want to make sure that they're in the right order. So the front needs the pocket to be facing in and down. This is the second page. I'm just going to do three pages in this one because um, it, it just be simpler to show you how to do this. Now, as I'm saying, I'm going to do three pages. You need an uneven amount of pockets to make this work, okay? So you could do three, five, seven, you know, whatever, nine. Um, it just has to be an uneven number. All right, so now I'm going to use, I have a, a ruler that has a zero in the center, so I'm gonna use this ruler, and this is a five inch um, origami pocket, so I've got two and a half inches and two and a half inches, so I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm gonna mark all three of the spines, you might say, of these pockets. And I'm gonna go in an inch off one end and an inch off the other. As I said, you can eyeball it. <clears throat> it's perfectly fine. So now that we've done that, set them down. This is my cover. Open up the pocket like that. Just open it up and take an awl and poke your holes where your pencil marks are. Okay, do that. Do that to all three of them and you might as well just leave them open. Now just remember to keep them in the right direction. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take wax linen and I'm using this hot pink so that we can see and I'm doing about two and a half times the length of your square. Okay, and I have a big eye needle here. It doesn't be, have to be sharp. And the pocket is open, and I am going from the outside. And we're not really stitching this to anything. We're just putting some thread in here so that we'll have something, because this is actually um, woven, but we need a base. So this is going to be our base. So we're going to go in from the top and then we're going to go up from the inside of the pocket. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost forgot the most important thing. Stretch this. <clears throat> it's important to stretch this before you start stitching because wax linen will have a tendency to stretch and you don't want it to stretch on your journal. You want it to stretch now. So stretch it, then thread your needle, just tug on it. Now we're going to stitch. I'm so sorry. All right, so you're up. So you went down, now you're up, now you're down. 
Make sure you leave yourself a little tail here. Now you're back up. It's very simple. And you can take the needle off the thread and tie a knot. And you can make the knot go into the middle or you can slide it up at the top. And just, you know, wax linen is kind of like gluey, so it uh, really does um, hold the knots, it kind of sticks to itself. All right, and you're going to do that to all three of your, um, I'm, am I going to call it a signature? <laughs> a folio. You're going to do it to all three of your folios. Folio is one page, a signature is many. And then you're going to tuck your pocket back in and just set it set aside. So that's my cover. So I'll come back after I do these two and I'll show you what's next. You tie a knot onto the end, leaving yourself a tail um, in case you want to put some charms or whatever on there. And I'm going to tie a double knot so that this does not come out. Okay. And now you're just going to weave in and out. So um, under and over. And straighten it up. And then now we're going to go back this direction. And so this is on top. So now we want to go under, over, under. Now, the key is here is to keep it so that it has room to move back and forth this way. You don't want to pull this so tight that the thing goes like that. Okay? You want to give it some, let's call it breathing space. Okay? And I actually kind of like it the way it looks uh, when it's a little a little looser. It just kind of looks more interesting. So now I'm on the right. Well, I don't know what it's looking like to you, but I'm on the right and I'm coming out from under. So I'm over, or I'm sorry, I'm coming out from under. So I'm over that one, under that one, over that one. You got that? Okay. So we're just going to keep doing this back and forth. Let me get that out of there. And make sure you don't uh, tuck your tail in there. And as you are weaving, you want to push, you know, your threads up. Not hysterically tight, just push them up a little bit. So now we're over, so now we're under, over, under. All right, and that's why you have to pre-stretch your thread too because this will get looser and looser. So you don't have to be real tight about it. So I'm just going to go back and forth and I will be back in a minute and show you. I'm just going to go right up to here, the center. All right, I just came back quick to tell you um, if these little strings are getting in your way, take a little piece of tape and just tape them. like that and push them out of your way. All right? All right, I'll be back in a minute. We are at the end and we're going to now this we're come we're on the top, we're going to go under. We want to put a little bit of a knot right here over this last thread. So, I'm actually going to go straight down. This time I'm straight down. And now I'm going to go up on that side of the thread. I think you can see me. And it kind of created a little bit of a twist around there. Okay, so the thread is actually coming up on the inside part of that loop. And now I'm going to go in underneath there and to create a knot. 
okay, around it. See? And you'll have to help it down with your finger because, sorry, because it's wax linen and it is kind of sticky. So now there's a knot down there. Oops, where am I? Here, I'm zoomed in so far. There we are. See the knot? Okay, so that's all you really want. You just want a knot and... All right. So now I've got a knot here. I've got a knot on the ending here. So I've got one knot on that side, one knot on this side. Now I'm going to push that over and I'm going to do this half. And if you don't think you have enough wax linen, get some. But I used about half of the wax linen, so I'm sure that I have enough. So now this time I'm going to put the knot on this side just because I want um, the knot, the uh, extra string, this little tail, to be a little staggered. So I'm going to put the knot up here, tie that, and I have to turn that around. Tie that into a knot twice. I'm going to go back up and do it this way for a moment just so I can show you exactly where I'm at make sure I'm in frame alright so now I've got my little pink ends taped and I've got pushing them out of the way now I'm gonna work on this this half alright I'm back I wove my um, wax linen and I had enough now if you do a thicker book uh, you want maybe more than a yard you want to do a little yard and a half yard and a quarter of thread you don't want to run out although I guess it's not the end of the world if you do you just have another knot along your spine so now because I have a knot here I have a knot here I have one here I want another one here I want. so I can trim this because this is really long and now I can take that off the tape off And you could actually make these pink strings longer when you're doing the um, sewing the signature or the folio. You can make these longer and you can put um, some charms on there as well. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And you have this cute little journal. Decorate the cover however you like and there you go. You're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a blessed day full of love and art, and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.